Uh, hello students, welcome back to SciMath videos. This is a video for teachers, students and educators, uh, especially for Max. So now we know there is model paper that is released from the board, official model papers. So that means the board has said to you that this is how, this is the model for your final examination. So based on this model papers, uh, we need to analyze. I have analyzed the paper and even you can analyze. Uh, we can get to know that there are few questions which are definite in the examination. There are few type of question where you need to practice lot of questions from previous year paper, whether it is textbook or any other sources. So basically in this video, I'll be discussing about what are the confirmed questions. If you are in the verge of just passing, no, pass out the kastai de sir nange, nama students ge, we need to train them to pass. For there are one set of students where you need to train them to pass. For them, this video I will be telling what are the important concepts, what are the problems, which are the confirmed questions. We cannot tell that read these things, it is passing package. No, because if you see model paper 1, it is quite difficult. Model paper 2 is easy. In model paper 1, generally what we say is passing package has just only come for 26 to 27 marks. But in what generally we teachers say for passing package, in model paper 2 has come to up to 40 marks. So you cannot tell, read this problem, only such such, uh, such problems, you will get, uh, you will pass, we cannot tell. So instead of that, let us give them, or if you are watching, you are a student, So what are those confirmed questions? That I will be discussing with you all. So firstly, I will come from topmost priority, highest marks. First thing that you need to practice are the theorems. There are four theorems. So in model paper 1, angle angle is there. In model paper 2, SAS theorem is there. But in preparatory exam, now state level, you can give BPT. In board exam, you can give some other. So any theorem can be asked. You can repeat same essays in final exam. You can, you can tell BPT in final exam. So you you, if you are a teacher, make sure that your students are practicing all the four theorems perfectly because anything can come in examination. If you are a student also, practice all the four theorems perfectly, SAS, SSS, BPT and angle angle. If he is giving BPT, most of the times he will tell state and prove BPT, state and prove sales theorem. He can give for five marks also. Sometimes he can also give BPT statement and ask the theorem. So, your students might get confused. Oh, BPT means they will give only state and true. No, this, somebody has a statement. So, make sure that you student, your students or you, the students know statement of each theorem properly. Read the statement and then you practice the theorem. Okay, better you know the statement, also the theorem. But most of the times, except BPT, rest everything, he will give the statement. But you should know what to write now, then don't get immediately even twist. So try to understand the statement and then practice. That is very much important. Okay, after that. So once you are done with BPT theorem, next is the graph. Graph is a definite question in both the model papers throughout past 6-7 years, it is asked. So in our past 4-5 years, it is there. Graph, 4 marks. So practice it very well. Okay, it is a definite question for 4 marks. Next, surface area volume. Sir, it is very difficult. Sir, why are you telling for us? Only formulas if you can practice. Now in one marks, you can just write the formula. Sometimes you will directly ask the formula of surface area of sphere. And four marks or five marks, whatever question they will give. No need to solve. At least write the formula that you know. That is why it is very important you know the surface area volume formulas. If you are a teacher, make sure that even for a passing package student, who you will fail, make sure that he is practicing this formula. You ask this formula every day. So he can at least get one minimum one marks, maximum two to three marks. So surface area volume, formulas, especially cylinder, cone, sphere, hemisphere. Surface area, curved surface area, total surface area and volume. Next, this is for one or two marks. Next, circle theorem. There are two theorems. Remember, both the theorems are very important because in model paper one, there was first theorem, model paper two, there was second theorem. So he can twist and turn the theorems means you can ask one or two. There are two theorems in circle theorem. Make sure you are practicing both the theorems. In my channel, there are already video. You can go and watch the video for that. This is definite for three marks. After this, mean, mode, median. Now, 
all the three not required any two easy we know easy for everyone is mean anybody can do mod is still more easy if <coughs> if they know the formula it is very easy so mean and mod is better median is little confusing for students who are work in the confused particle kashta agutte andre do not practice median better leave it okay so for scoring students you can practice but obviously this will be internal option they will ask to any one you should solve so you better practice mean and mod at top most priority next this is for three marks definite question after this prove irrational in prove irrational he can ask for two marks he can ask for three marks for three marks if he ask he will ask directly prove root 3 irrational prove root 5 irrational prove root 7 irrational for three marks that you know little lengthy steps it is very easy one step if you practice one problem if you practice similar steps for remaining problems also so it is tumba easy the root 3 root 5 root 7 athwa indian single digit ek baruthe for two marks if you ask he will combine and ask for example prove that 5 plus root 3 is irrational prove that 2 plus root 2 is irrational these are very much simple this four steps okay so practice prove irrational for three marks also for two marks make sure you are practicing it properly nimage gotilla heng madodu teacher hatra keli if you are a teacher make sure your students are practicing properly for two marks how much right for three marks how much right it is very important next so this is definitely for two or three marks probability probability will be very easy at least formula first thing next there are few definition fill in the blanks type of thing what is certain what is the probability of certain event what is the probability of uncertain event what is the probability of uh, sure event so like this simple things you can make your students practice two marks also simply they can solve give some ideas about probability try to solve some problems nimge gotti new students nortta idira thumba easy idu helu kodutunnaru yenu illa calculation solpa kaam aagi probability problems na helisukoli illa maadi okay so probability for two or three marks at least learn the formula it is very simple and try to solve next finding product and sum of zeros illide polynomial chapter alli first to alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a alpha into beta is equal to c by a so based on this okay he can ask for three marks okay find the zeros and verify the relationship so avage en martare split in the middle term you maadi alpha beta kandidu then you will verify alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a alpha beta is equal to c by a idin martira this is one type of problem next type of problem is you can give a quadratic polynomial and ask you to find the product of zero and sum of zero product of zero andre eno alpha into beta na maadbeke heng martira c by a ashte you kandidibekagu sum of zero andre eno minus b by a anta matra kandidibeku so it will be very simple verifying the relationship finding the zeros and verifying the relationship that is one type next type is sum and product of zeros adanna you practice madbeku two or three marks you will get next distance formula and section formula so distance formula alli eradide ondu from a coordinate to a origin adu formula enu square root of x square plus y square that is one one marks question one more distance formula is lengthier that if you ask for two marks you will ask so distance formula for one marks and two marks you practice both the formulas if he does not ask distance formula he will definitely ask section formula for two marks this time they will not ask for three marks because in three marks coordinate geometry we have application type of question so the definite the important one here is distance and section both you practice for two marks so then next we will be doing solve by elimination so definitely elimination and ella gotthu easy it is a definite question you have to practice next discriminant and nature of roots one equation kodtare quadratic equation you should just find b square minus 4ac and nature if he ask discriminant he only ask for one marks if he asks for nature of roots then for two marks he will ask okay so you have to practice make sure students practice discriminant and nature of roots very well next finding the roots by factorization on the quadratic equation kodbuto adanna roots kandide keltare so it is very simple so you know split in the middle term you have to make sure that you are practicing it very well okay so two marks finding the roots of equation by factorization next an sn for two marks definite either it can be an an andre no find the 10th term of an ap 3 comma 6 comma 9 comma dot dot or 
find the sum of the 20th term of an AP. On the AP code, that is the 10th term or the 10th term, sum of the 10th term on the 10th term. Find the 10th term on the 10th term, A-N formula. Sum of the 10th term on the 10th term, S-N formula. So, this problems you have to practice. If you see model paper 1, he asked based on A-N. Model paper 2, he asked based on S-N. Next, midpoint formula. One marks definite question it will be. Okay. So, midpoint formula, it can be anywhere. So, midpoint formula, you should know formula and also simple problems to simplify. Okay. Next, find the degree of a polynomial for one marks. You can give a quadratic point, you can give a polynomial. Degree and reno, highest number na urutpik. Author of the problems, so one marks it there. You can also ask, find the roots of the polynomial. How many roots are there in the polynomial? Roots and degrees are same. If it is degree of any, if a degree of a quadratic equation is 2, how many roots it has? It has 2. Degree of a cubic equation is 3. How many roots it has? 3. Right. Roots and zeros are same. Okay. And degrees. Roots, zeros, degrees are the same the concept. Okay. Next. Empirical relationship. Mean, mode, median. 3 median is equal to 2 mean plus mode. And the formula is allowed. This is called as the empirical relationship between central tendencies. So, one more ask, you can ask, what is the empirical relationship between central tendencies? Iste, keldre, avaga, e formula bribeko. Atwa, what you can do in exam is, you can give mean and mode and ask what is median. You can give mode and mean and ask what is median, like this. Because three things are there, you can give two and ask one. So, problem based on this empirical relationship and the formula, you should know. Next, trigonometry, okay, direct formula, direct, triangle could put the right. Values are put he will give all the values, he will give triangle, they will just ask sin, cos, tan. But make sure your students know how to opposite by hypotenuse go through but you will ask sin c, sin a. It is very simple, anybody can solve. Even a passing, even dull students, he will definitely crack this. So you make sure you practice trigonometry, direct problems, few. Next, trigonometry value table. Better you know value table. You make your students practice sin 0, sin 90, tan 45, their entire table, let them practice because if they cannot solve anything, see now applications of trigonometry. If you just write the value of tan, the entire problem, no need to do anything. In examination, if you just do the drawing and write tan 45 is equal to 1, tan 45 is equal to tan 60 is equal to root 3, tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3, they will give half marks, many times in 1 marks. Somewhere he will do something. So make sure that you practice value table. Minimum one mass it will help you. So elder practice one. Next. Finding zeros using the graph. Graph for you have to just find the zeros. That you know now. LL graph x axis to chagate. Adu zeros. That is one mass question. Next. Next, very important. Finding the type of line, consistency, finding type of lines, consistency, and uh, this one, equations, Yadu, linear equations, Hello, table either, you know, intersecting line, parallel line, coincident line, intersecting line, what is the equation, how many solution it has, one solution, unique solution, they are consistent, they are consistent pair of equation, parallel lines, how many solution, no solution, what is the equation, a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2, okay, it is inconsistent pair of equation, it is coming to last, it is Coincident lines, coincident lines, infinite many solutions. Tumba academic akira, infinitely many solutions. Okay, equation a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. This e table any jala, channa practice madi, kindly try to understand it. Okay, so e table any the linear equation, e concept any the two marks it definite ak barate. Make sure that you spend some time with your students or you practice it very well. Because definitely, if you see both the papers, there are for two marks. MCQL one question is there. Very short answer one question is there. So, it is a very important concept for two marks. Next, problems based on LCM into HCF is equal to A into B. So, in exam, what you can do? You can give two, two numbers and ask you to find LCM. Ask you to find HCM and verify this formula. Or, you can give LCM, HCF and value of A and ask you value of B. So, based on this formula, no? You can definitely get for 2 or 3 marks or minimum 1 marks definite. Okay. So, LCM into HCF is equal to A into B. Next, last type of problem. Finding one question, for example, you will give the nth term of an AP is 3n minus 1. Find the 8th term. 
n jagadal 8 aagutte simplify madbeku so 3 into 8 24 minus 1 23 one more question find the nth term of an ap uh, 4n plus 2 find 10th term 4n plus 2 andre n jagadal 10 aagbeku so 4 into 10 40 plus 1 41 so ee tarad problems enide so this type of problems if you practice now what all list i told you, if you practice very well you can easily anybody can easily score 30 plus or if you are lucky definitely 50 plus bande bharat okay so this one if you are a student practice this type of problems if you are a teacher watching this kindly make sure that your students are practicing all this this entire checklist i have prepared the checklist okay i'll be putting in the description box you can download the checklist and this is you can checklist idella you ni practice madide tick madkon okay so this is very important these are the confirmed question that you need to practice